Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. Just picked up another ton and a half of feed. I'm gonna haul that home. My poor old truck does not, not appreciate this. So we're gonna take it real slow. But uh, it's a little after five now. Just got off work, picked this stuff up. Hopefully we have enough time to do some inventory on those chicks. I was gonna do it yesterday, um, which one of the videos prior I said I was going to. Stuff got out of hand. Didn't get you know back in till late. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try and do that today. So I'm gonna get home and then we're gonna start counting and see <laughs> how overboard I've gone. So should be uh, interesting for me because I really don't know what my numbers are and uh, hope you guys find it intriguing. All right, got the trailer parked. Got it goat proof for now. Now to take the time to go catch a bunch of chicks, sort them, count them, figure out what I got, what I don't. This could take a while. I'm still not sure how I'm gonna film this. Um, I might just go ahead and film all the pens real quick. And then uh, as I get them emptied and put back in, I'll just sort of show you each group of chicks and then probably just drop at the bottom uh, the male female count. If that's not what I did, then I figured out something that I thought might work better. So let's get into it. Okay, in the first pen, we have Dunkles, which, or Dunkles, and Geese. Yes, I know, we have you guys in here too. Um, yeah, I know you guys empty the water. It's mainly because of that guy. That duck keeps draining all the water. It'll literally, I'll fill this up, and within 10 minutes, it'll be completely empty. So, water them a few times a day, and it's apparently not enough for them. But anyway, um, got the forcings, got the milly flares, got to figure out how many silkies I have. Uh, the silkies probably be a little hard to tell if they're male or female, but I should be able to tell on the dunk. I got to figure out where I'm going to put these feet. They do not need to be in here anymore. I'll figure it out. Anyway, there's pen one. All right, pen two is pretty much all Old English. Uh, yeah. There's some that I'm not gonna be able to tell you what they are, because I did get an assortment the first time, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. So we'll go through those as well. Most of those I'll keep for breeders, because I don't know what it is about Old English, but I love how tiny they are, how much fun they are, just their attitudes. Cool little birds. Pen three. Got all the uh, Jubilee and Lavender Orphansons in here. They might be too young to tell if they're male or female. We're gonna give it a shot, at least get a count on them. And then all the gooses is, as right now they're not wildly stampeding back and forth, but you know, nice feeling to be calm. See, they have water. They don't have a duck in here though. Anyway, pen three. Okay, pen one in here. We have some Sussex and some Bard Rocks. There's also an Aricon and a Silky. And a Rhode Island, I think. But I know there's a Rooster Sussex in here for sure. Uh, but we'll get a count in here as well. Also, we'll be jumping over to the Cayugas. So I have two pens of Cayugas over here. And uh, we'll sort out uh, males and females here. I think I'll take all but like maybe two males to the auction. Anyway, there's those. Obviously the peacock. He's leaving here in a couple days. Going to the auction. Um, obviously I know I have the Canadas, the mallards and the wood ducks and stuff. Mostly, mostly we're gonna be concentrating on this stuff. All right, got it all emptied. Hey, okay. so here are the porcelains. Let me get them out here in the sun where you guys can see them. Pretty little chick. Anyway, uh, let's count the males and females. Two roos, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Pretty good ratio. Six to 12 on a straight run. Take that all day. All right, and on the Millies, I can tell you already, I only have two of the boys. Now, they'll get a lot more speckles and stuff. Hey bud, you wanna go back? There's one Roo. They'll get a lot more speckles and stuff here uh, before too long, but uh, you know, it takes a minute. Well, let's get a count. So, that makes three Roos right there. And uh, see, here's a hen. She's already starting to get those specks and stuff coming in. 
I really like the, the speckled pattern, so I uh, hope you guys can see that. Anyway, three plus one. There's four and five. Not near as great a ratio, but uh, I'm sure the next ten would have all been hens anyway. I took a gosling out and just put it on the ground because I wanted to see what it would do with this uh, goose that's been hanging out underneath here all the time. He's really looking at first for uh, where his friends are. Dog. <laughs> Going for the feed now. Yeah, they're not, I mean, they're getting along. I'm just not sure what's going on. He feels real lost though. But anyway, uh, I can't tell you what gender they are, but there is one duckling and a total of eight goslings. So, I'm not sure which pen I'm gonna stick it into. I'm just gonna put them in here for right now though. In the silkies. All right, um, well, here's a blue. So we'll go ahead and just put him back. That's a that darker blue color. Now, this guy, I'm gonna call blue also. It's just a little darker. So we got two blues. I can't tell if they're male or female yet. But we got two blues, and then uh, let me get a count on the splashes and whites. Here's a couple more. Now, splash are kind of smoky color, but you can see they have these dark flecks in there. So that's uh, the difference between the splash and like white or something like that. That was three, right? Four, five. It's mostly white, but still number six. And seven. Actually, let me show you a cool thing about silkies. Well, I had to go grab a Sarama chick real quick to demonstrate with, but Chickens have four toes, and typically pretty light skin. Like you can actually see through that. See how transparent that is? Now, silkies are different, okay? Four toes, watch this. Silkies have black skin. You see, silkies got black skin. Weird looking bird. Really cool though. And they're one of the breeds that has five toes. You got a little extra guy poking out the side there. So, I don't know, just in case you guys didn't know that about silkies, um, they're kind of cool like that. But anyway, one, two, and three whites. All right, let's go to the next pen. First, uh, the Sarama up in the pigeon loft, she hatched out a few chicks and they're in here with the Old English, but there are two roos of them, and one, pull it, probably sell those. They're pretty easy to tell apart from the others by how upright they have their tail. Like, look how that little hen has her tail straight up in the air. Very proud little chicken. They're one of the smallest breeds in the world. They're kind of fun. Anyway, moving on. Next, uh, we're gonna do the barred Old English. Now, this is one one breed of that I have that would actually probably show pretty well. Uh, but they're just little, you know, typical barred pattern. Yeah. Looks like a little hen there. Two, three. Here's it. number four. So we got four hens and a couple little boys. I think that's all of them. Yep, that's all the bard. I'm happy with uh, two trios. That'll work. Four hens, two cockerels. My wife kind of likes that color pattern, so we might end up actually keeping some of those. We'll see. Okay. Next, we got uh, the Spangled Old English. They're kind of like uh, the Sussex or Jubilees. Very, uh, you know, the white flecking in all the stuff. Now, these are pretty young. He'll get a lot of shiny, like all this uh, brown will come out of his feathers, and he'll get a very shiny sheen to him. So, a lot of these birds are really immature yet. They're only, you know, about between six and eight weeks old, something like that. Uh, but yeah, still, you know, about half grown. But there's a proud little rooster. These guys are a little bit more pecked. There's two more. Four and five. Not doing too good. And, are you a roo? I think that one's a roo also. Yeah. 
six. Six roos. That's not awesome. But we do have three ladies. Well, so far that's our first backward ratio. Oh well. All right, next we have my blue Old English. Now these came out of an assortment. I didn't actually order blues. Um, I ordered self blues in the batch after that, which we'll do after these guys. Um, but yeah, we got a nice little pair of them there. Hold on, mama. So yeah, I like that. I might end up keeping those, who knows? But anyway, uh, the difference between blue and self blue is, let me grab one. What's this? So the self blue is this lighter, like smoky gray color, and the regular blue is the dark one. Now they will get shinier, but they're still real young. But yeah, there's a lady of each. Got a few more of those, hold on. Here's a couple of boys. Don't go fluffy on me, dude. That guy right there thought he was something special. <laughs> and we get to add another pair. So two hens and three cockerels. Now, don't be fighting mama. That uh, solid blue one there came flying over and was showing the little one who's boss. Now, uh, the rest of them, I am not sure exactly what I got. There, I mean, there's some whites. I do know what those are. Uh, but the rest, you guys are gonna have to let me know because they came in an assortment and I just actually don't know what color they are. They could be anything from ginger reds to brassy backs. They could be uh, wheat and old English. It could be BB reds. Um, that's black breasted. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones they could be. So I'm just gonna show them you guys and then you can tell me what they are. Cause I don't know. Well, to start off, we got a couple of white hens. But uh, hens do sell better. White's just not really my jam. But uh, yeah, got two hens. Might take those to the auction, I don't know. Anyway, there's those two. Now here's one that kind of confused me. I'm not sure what it is. She's got a little bit of the gold on the hackle and a little bit of a bluish body. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But it's a hen, so that's good. All right, I'm gonna assume that this one is a red ginger hen. Cause it's not a red pile. Well, there she goes. Uh, but yeah, I do like that. But it could also be a Wheaton. Uh, honestly, I think that's another Sarama that I missed. Mark down another Sarama Roo. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Now, this guy here looks like a pretty standard BB Red, but uh, a lot of these roos look kind of similar when they're young, to me anyway. So tell me if I'm wrong. But I got him, four others, I'll show you real quick. Well, I was gonna show you him. He looked a lot like this guy. Yep, bunch of roos. Anyway, that's all the Old English in this pen. I do have a bunch more, but I know they're spangled self blues because I ordered those and some brassy bags. So there's that pen. Okay, so in these two pens, kind of hard to see, we've got some Araconas or Easter Eggers and Reds. So we're gonna move those to where the Peacock was living. Kind of hard to see them in there, but we'll get these bards out as well. So we'll take all those and we'll move them over there, get a count on them, and I think I'll put the goslings over in these pens. Here's another pen that's gonna be a little bit more difficult to count. It's got a few turkeys in here, got a bunch more millies, obviously too young to tell what they are, and uh, a bunch of Polish. White ones are splash, and those little guys there are blues. I think that's all that's in here. I'm gonna pick one up. So let you catch him. Little splash polish. I'll probably sell a bunch of these though. I like them. They're right. Let's get this one shut. No. Oh, gotta catch him. No, no, no. Come, 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 come. Don't step on him. 
There we go. All right, it wasn't very exciting and I'm running out of time. So we moved 23 barred rock pullets and two Easter eggers over into here. I think I'm gonna drop the reds in here also. Yep, anyway, let's keep going. Well, I might need to continue this tomorrow. Um, I did just catch the rest of these guys. So we got all the lavenders. Um, I put the goslings over in another spot, except for the little guy, because he needs some warmth. He's a little complaining because he's all alone right now. But here's all the jubilees, so I need to count. I really don't think I'm gonna be able to tell males from females at this point, but I uh, will see. At least I'll know how many there are. So probably 50, but anyway. Uh, let me count. All right, it is a really hard thing to judge what male and female is, but I made my best educated guesses, and it looks pretty close to half and half. I haven't done a count yet, but uh, I think these are the boys, and that should be mostly girls. I might pick out maybe two or three uh, ones that I think are boys, and then just sell the rest. I don't know, because I don't need this many. Problem is, they'll go for like 50 cents if I sell them right now, so. What do you do? Okay, so, had 14 possible pullets, which is really hard to tell. I'm kind of just making educated guesses. I have no idea if I'm right or wrong. Uh, and 14, no, sorry, 14 pullets and 13 cockerels. Though I do think these possible assumed cockerels, they'll look at them and like, mm, maybe it's a hen after all. I don't know. Either way, I don't need this many lavenders. I'm gonna sell these. Uh, I kept three that I know they were a lot bigger than these guys that I were pretty sure were cockerels. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to sell ten of those. Wife and I were looking at these Jubilees. You can't tell. I have no idea. Like, there's a couple. Like, this guy I could assume is a Roo. But just by, I mean, I don't know. That's... I'm just gonna have to keep all of them, see how many I have, and then uh, take my educated guesses later. Oh, I'll get a count. All right, well, we have 46 Jubilees of the 50 that I bought, so, yeah. The wife and I quickly did a, a count in here. So, I do have one Sussex Rue and seven hens. I know it's really hard to see, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, there's 10 barred rock pullets in here as well, and one Rhode Island Red pullet, one Silky, which I'm guessing is a pullet, and an Easter Egg Aru. Anyway, that's all for this pen. Uh, actually, buddy Jay, hi Jay, uh, I think they're taking four of the Sussex pullets, so that number got cut down a little bit. Anyway, moving on. Well guys, uh, obviously I'm not at the farm right now. Um, yeah, that's all the time I had. We ran out of time, it got dark. By the time I got some other stuff caught, it you really couldn't see it all. And turns out this video is getting a little bit long. I don't know if this is what you guys wanted to see of an inventory. Uh, if you guys want to see the rest of the inventory, you guys need to drop me a comment and let me know. Um, Cause that's like half, maybe, maybe half of the birds. Uh, a bunch of them I did take to the auction. The auction was last weekend, so some of the birds are gone but i can do an updated version i'll just sort of let you guys know sort of fill in what we have and don't have anymore but yeah if you guys like the way that was put together if that's what you guys would like to see let me know i'd really appreciate it any feedback would be awesome right now i'm out looking for pigeons not having a whole lot of action but you know you, you, you can't get any if you don't go scout so uh also the giveaway so uh, a couple buddies and I, uh, Josh and Ben, we are, that's the buddies, not buddies and them, but anyway, uh, we have a podcast on Patreon, and it's it's PG, sometimes gets a little bit spicy, but uh, we are doing a giveaway, and we have a ton of things to give away. Um, it's on Patreon, uh, I think I have the link down below, so go click on that, or it's real simple, dude. Just go download the Patreon app and look us up. Nature Bros Podcast, this one right here. Go look that up. Uh, we are giving away everything from a shotgun, there's an e-collar, there is a case of TSS, there's duck and goose calls, there are 
full body decoys, there are floaters, there are silhouettes, there are, there's dog collars and e-collars and th there's e-collar as in, you know, lucky duck e-collar and e-collar as in like a gun dog outdoor e-collar. I think it's gun dog. I'm not sure. We got a bunch of different sponsors. There's going to be a lot of winners. We have a ton of giveaways. Um, there's a high chance of you winning something if you join the Patreon. So uh, it will be given away here in a week or two. Um, do go check it out because there's a lot of cool stuff and it would really support me here on the channel. Um, YouTube is really, really uh, not enjoying me putting up anything with uh, gunning content. So if you guys like the hunting at all, and once you continue on, this is a great way to sort of support me. Even if you guys don't like the podcast or don't listen to the podcast, it, it would really help me out if you guys want to do that. Um, but anyway, I'll try and leave a link down below. Go check us out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, the next video, I was going to put it in this one, but it didn't happen because it's getting pretty long. Uh, Peanut got a hold of the camera for quite a while. I haven't got through the footage yet, but uh, it, it was kind of fun to watch her do from a distance. So anyway. Got some fun videos coming up, stuff that I'm excited to do. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill. Thank you for all the help. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. See you, Riley. I'm recording you.